Today we have a look at selective disclosure for verifiable credentials. So what is selective disclosure? Selective disclosure is a privacy enhancing mechanism for verifiable credentials, allowing users to control what data to share in interactions. They enable enhanced privacy by allowing individuals to share only required information and thereby minimizing exposed personal data in interactions. They give user empowerment as the user has greater control over their data as they can decide what to share during a transaction. We also get reduced fraud risk because by limiting the amount of shared data, selective disclosure reduces the potential for identity theft and other forms of data misuse. And now Alice, who needs to prove that she's old enough to buy alcohol in a shop, can now simply share her date of birth without revealing all the other information that might be in her ID verifiable credential. So how does it work and how do we implement it? As the industry efforts to create a selective disclosure standard for VCs is still ongoing, there is no final implementation yet. Though we made one based on the ETF SD chart reference, which is the first draft. And therefore, our implementation can be used to experiment and try out and build first POCs. And then after we have a reference that is final, our implementation will also evolve and adjust to those standards. So why did we choose the ETF standard reference and the JSON web token? It's because the specification aims to be easy to implement and leverage established and widely used data formats, as well as being mentioned in the European digital identity wallet architecture and reference framework. So how does SD shots now work? In a classical scenario where you share normal credentials, all the values in the credential can be read in plain text. In an SD chart credential, all of these values are encrypted in a hashed format, making them unreadable. This allows the holder to choose which claims to reveal to the verifier by providing the plain text values, also known as disclosure, together with the SD chart credential. The verifier can then take this disclosure, so the plain text value, like here, and hash it with the same hashing algorithm used at the beginning, and then compare the values which are in the SD chart credential and thereby verify that this value is actually present in the credential. What is also possible in the SD chart credential is to add such called decoy hashes to reveal the actual number of claims a credential has. So how can you use our products with them? You can use them to create revoke SD chart credentials and present them with various DIT methods. You can also verify SD chart credentials with custom and pre-existing verification policies. You can distribute them by using the OADC for verified credential standard. You can store them so you can create wallet solutions for holders using different storage solutions. But now let's see the whole thing in action. In this quick demo, we will now issue ourselves with the Vault ID SSI kit and the CLI tool an SD chart credential. Before we can issue a credential, we need to make sure we have also a DIT available. Let's take this one here for our credential. To issue now a credential, I type SSI kit VC issue. Then I provide the subject, the issuer, then the credential type, which is SD chart, the template, which is verifiable ID. But here also I could use any template or a custom template. And now it's getting interesting because I can provide the selectively disclosable fields in the credential, which is the credential subject and in the credential subject I want to selectively disclose the first name value and I also want to selectively disclose the date of birth. 
using the interactive mode, I can simply provide the data for the credential. And I want to save it in my VC sd.txt. Now it says we have the selectively disclosure enabled, haven't provided any decoy hashes, which can be used to conceal the actual number of claims a credential has. Then the credential subject is enabled for selective disclosure, as well as the first name and the date of birth. So I now provide my data and I get back the credential. To read the content of the credential, I can use the SSI kit vc parse command and provide the path. So my vc is d.txt and I will get back the content of the credential. And then also here with the information, what is selectively disclosable and what not. To now present our credential to a verifier, we create a SSI kit vc present command a presentation provide our holder did a challenge and what we want to selectively disclose our credential subject and in the credential subject I just want to include my first name then we need to provide the path and create a presentation of it and now we can if we again parse the credential we will see that actually in the presentation there is no date of birth so therefore the verifier doesn't know that it actually also exists maybe over the schema but he cannot tell it with the presentation itself and to verify we can now run ssi kit we see verify and provide the presentation. And as you saw now with the CLI tool that you can issue, present and verify SD charts, you can also use our REST service to do the same thing or our Java and Kotlin libraries. But there's more. When using Walt ID tooling, you're flexible when it comes to ecosystems. So you can use a wide range of DIT methods from key, web, EPSI, IOTA, checked, and many more. And also on the language side, you're super flexible from using a REST service, CLI tools, Java or Kotlin libraries. And storing data from users, so DITs, VCs, and keys, we also have here multiple storage implementations. And all while you're really flexible and have the option to extend through our open source model and leverage the functionality which is already in our tools or build up on top of our modular system with your own. Now it's your turn. Start for free and create your first SD chart credential with Walt ID tooling. Visit our website at waltid slash SSI kit or click the link directly in the description and get started with the docs. Happy building. See you next time.